In the last lecture, we learned how to find all the places present inside a given area. Now, in this lecture, we will learn how to check in which areas a given location is present. Let's try to understand it with an example. So, currently in our map, we have created only one area. But we might have multiple areas which we have saved in our collection. So, for example, here we have one area. Let me go ahead and let me save it in a collection. We have already stored the coordinates of this area in the variables here. So, what I'm going to do is, let me clear the shell here. And now I want to create a new collection. And I'm going to call that collection as areas. So, let's see db dot areas dot insert many. In this insert many method, we are going to pass an array. In that array, let's specify an object. And in that object, first of all, I am going to have a name. Let's say the name of this area is maybe, let's simply call it as area one. Okay. And then I am also going to have this area property in which I am going to store the details of the area. So again, in this embedded document, first we are going to specify the type. Since we want to store an area, the type here will be polygon. And then let's also specify the coordinates. And in here, I'm going to use these variables P1, P2, P3, and P4. So let's say P1, or since we want to store the coordinates of a polygon inside this array, we need to specify another set of array. And in that array, we need to specify the array of latitudes and longitudes for the coordinates of that area. So I can go ahead and I can specify these arrays inside this inner array. Or since I'm storing it in a variable, I can go ahead and use those variables also. So I can say P1, P2, P3, P4. And finally, the last element should be the first element. So that the loop will close, the area will close. Okay, let me go ahead and let me add this area in this areas collection. So this is my first document. Let me add one more document here. Here also, I'm going to have a name. Let's say the name is area two. Then I'm going to have the area field type polygon coordinates. Okay, so let me cut it from here. Let's specify it here. And now let me go and let me create one more area in the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some coordinates first. So Let's say first marker is here. Let me copy the coordinates from here and let me store it in some variables. And in the same way, I'm going to add three more markers here and I'm going to copy their coordinates. All right. So I have copied the coordinates of these four markers which I have added. Now let me go ahead and let me create this area. So it starts from here to this point, to this point, this point, and then this point. Let's save this. Okay, and now I'm going to delete these markers which I had created. Okay, so these are the two areas which we have created now. So I'm also going to store the coordinates of this new area in the areas collection. So let's go back to Mongo shell. And here I have created these variables P5, P6, P7 and P8, which is storing the coordinates of the second area. Let me go ahead and let me specify it here. And as I have mentioned earlier, here the first element and the last element should be same. Okay, let me go ahead and let me copy this command along with these variables. Let's go ahead and let's paste it here. And let's create this areas collection. So the areas collection has been created and we have added two documents there. Let me clear the shell and let's go ahead and let's query the areas collection by using the find method on it. So you can see it is storing 
two areas area one with these coordinates and area two with these coordinates all right now we want to use some geospatial operators on this area field and to do that for example if i try to use geo within or dollar near operator on this area field currently it will throw us an error because we don't have any geospatial index on this field so we also need to add a geospatial index on this area field for that let's say db dot the collection name is areas dot create index so here we want to create an index on which field do we want to create an index we want to create an index on the area field of the areas collection and here we want to create a geospatial index so here the type will be 2d sphere let's go ahead and let's create this index so that index has been created on the area field let me clear the shell now what we want is let's go to map and let's say here i have a location in this area at this point so let me go and let me add a point here okay and let me copy the coordinates of this point so what i want is we have the areas collection and here we have the coordinates of this point and we want to check this point comes in which areas in this example it comes in both areas area 1 and area 2 so if i try to search for these coordinates in the areas collection it should return us both area 1 and area 2 now how can we check this how can we write the query to check in which areas a given location is present let's see that let's go back to mongo shell and i'm going to write the query here so this time we want to query the areas collection so let's say db dot areas dot find and using which field do we want to query the collection using its area field because in this area field we have the coordinates of the area in which we want to check if a given location is present or not okay to this area we are going to assign another document where we are going to use an operator called dollar geo intersect so why we are using this operator because we want to check in which areas a given location intersects it is present so to this geo intersects we need to give the coordinates of the location for which we want to find in which areas it is present from this areas collection so here we need to give the coordinates of this point for which we want to check in which areas it belongs to for that again we need to use dollar geometry to this dollar geometry we are going to pass a document where we will specify the type so this time the type of this location since it is a single point location the type here will be point and let's also specify the coordinates so let's copy the coordinates let's go back and here's the coordinates let me copy it and let's pass it here okay so this geo intersect will return us all the areas from this areas collection in which this point is present if i go ahead and if i run this command it should return us two areas because we have inserted two areas in the areas collection and this point here it is present in both the areas so here it should return us both the areas but for some reason it has not returned us anything that's because first we need to specify the longitude and then the latitude so we have not specified the latitude and longitude properly that's why it did not return us anything let's try it again if i press enter it has returned us both the areas and that is correct let me clear the shell here let's go back to map and now i'm going to delete this area i mean i'm going to delete this point and now let's create a point inside one area so for example let's create a point in this second area let's copy the coordinates here 
and now let's check in which areas this particular point is present for that here let me go ahead and let me change the coordinates let's specify the new coordinates and again longitude will come first and then the latitude let me go ahead and let me copy this command let's paste it here and this time it should return us area 2 if i press enter you can see it has returned us area 2 and let's take one more example so let me delete this point also and let's take a point which is not present in any of the areas let's copy the coordinate of that point let's specify it in the coordinates and let's change the order so first longitude should come and then the latitude okay if i go ahead and if i run this command this time it should not return us any area if i press enter you can see it has not returned us any area because now this point is not present inside any area which we have in our areas collection so i hope you got the point here now if you want you can also check if a given area is present inside an area or not or if a given area is present in which areas for example let's say if i create an area something like this a small area here okay so this area is present inside this area one so we can also check in which areas a given area is present in that case the type here will be polygon and for the coordinates you will have to specify the coordinates of the area so inside the array you will specify another array and in that array you will specify the coordinates of that area for which you want to check in which areas that particular area is present i hope you got the point so in this lecture we learned how to check in which areas a given location is present this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day